so there's something else I want to share. So we're talking about Trump, right? Okay. And this isn't necessarily about Trump, but somebody a while back asked me to ask me to take a look at something called the Seven Mountain Mandate. And I did. I'm not going to talk about that today. I don't think we're going to have time. But in the research, I discovered something really interesting. So I guess I have to give you a little bit of a background on the Seven Mountain Mandate. So that came from the Seven Mountain, Seven Mountain Mandate came from uh, uh, a few pastors back in the 70s. And it was um, a method for evangelism. Uh, it, was a, it was a method for evangelism. It was about teaching people how they can evangelize Christ through existing spheres of influence, like the spheres of influences that already existed in our society, how if you could influence them, you could influence the people they influence. It makes perfect sense. Today, Seven Mountain Mandate is actually known as Seven Mountain Dominance. Um, it, it's... It's become, it's become uh, synonymous with with white nationalism. It has been hijacked. Okay, it's been high because we're not thinking. They're not thinking necessarily evangelism anymore. They're thinking um, we can use this for control. Okay, we can use the Seven Mountain Mandate as a way of gaining control, and um, you know, making America pray again. So one of the big proponents is a guy named Lance Wallnow. Um, big, huge Trump supporter. Uh, claims to have a prophetic voice. Uh, he sort of, he began talking about the Seven Man Mountain Mandate maybe a decade or so ago. And, I mean, really pushing it. That was even longer than that, I think. It was like two, mid, the, mid, the, the mid-aughts. Right, so like 2005, 2006, he's been he's been really pushing this seven mountain mandate, but he's been pushing it from the perspective of this is how we take control, this is how Christians we should. So instead of where where those original pastors would say we should influence um, the church, we should influence uh, the media, we should influence uh, uh, arts and entertainment, we should influence education, uh, Wall now it's how we should control. Right, we should we should control these things. I found this old talk of his, like his hair was a different color kind of talk. Right, he was, he was smaller. He was he was definitely younger. I found this old talk of his where he's talking about the Seven Mountain Mandate. And as I was listening to him, you know how you, you can sometimes. You almost tune it out until they start using language. And you're like, wait a second, did he just say what I think he said? It was one of those moments. So I was kind of taking notes as he was talking. And then I was like, wait a second, did he just... And I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I want to read to you. So I'll give you a little, paint a little picture. He was talking about, he was talking about the devil, because, you know, why not? And he was talking about God. And he was talking about the seven mountains, the seven, seven spheres of influence. And he was, he was saying how important it is that we, that we seize control of these seven spheres of influence and, and how important it is because if, if we don't, the devil will, the devil's already using these things and that we've got to meet the devil where the devil is. And he's warning us about all the work of the devil. And this is what he says, Satan, and, and I mean it, like just, you know what, maybe this is nothing. Maybe I was really, really tired last night and this was like, oh my God, I was in like a delusional state. But hear me out on this. And I'd love to see your comments, please. This is what he says. When warning the world, warning his viewers about how Satan is going to, how Satan's going to, um, how Satan is, is, is fighting against us and, and Satan's strategy, he says, quote, Satan is just waiting for democracies to fail so that he can rise, raise up totalitarian popular movements that are going to be speaking for the frustration of the masses because the elites that are at the top of these mountains are selfish. What they've got is a system for prosperity. What they don't have is a system for ethics and values. They do not have a kingdom value system. And so the number one reason why democracies are failing is corruption. So in that, end quote, in that there's I get excited right when I hear these guys prophesy something 
that they now find themselves stuck in the middle of. He literally, 20 years ago, prophesied about Trump and about a populist movement coming into play. He, he prophesied about how the devil, when a democracy fails, would use totalitarianism and, and again, populism, as, uh, and, and, and th- that that popular movement would be a voice for those, for the masses who are experiencing frustration. Speaking for the frustration of the masses is what he says. When you hear Trump speak, what does he say? I'm, I'm here for you. I'm here to take care of your frustrations. I'm here to take care of your pains. I'm here to take care of your issues. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to be a, I'm going to be a dictator. What's another word for dictator? Totalitarian. Right. It's, it's an absolutely, it's, it's, it's a movement. Mega is a movement based on populism. It's, it's based on, on a popularity contest. This is our guy. Why? Because of his policy? No, because he's a celebrity. Because we watched his show for 10 years. Because he's convinced us over the decades that he's a great businessman and he can solve all these problems because of how he fires people on his show. Wall now is literally prophesizing the mega movement that he is elbow deep in. The mega movement that he is a huge proponent of, a huge supporter of. He is, he's, he's 20 years ago prophesizing about a movement that he now finds himself, a movement of Satan that he now finds himself defending and calling a movement of God. Maybe I'm saying this too much today. Maybe that's like my, my key word today. I don't understand these guys. 20 years ago, Lance Wall now, as a way of promoting his understanding of the Seven Mountain Mandate, warned the people watching him that if they didn't seize control of these seven spheres of influence, that the devil was going to use a totalitarian and populist movement that claimed to speak for the frustrations of the people to take over. He was prophesizing Trump and Mega. I wonder if he knows it. Amen.